Mayor Lightfoot issuing an executive order on reproductive rights today. It prohibits city workers and police from helping another state prosecute anyone who travels to Chicago seeking an abortion. WGN's Christine Flores is here to break down what this order really means. Christine. Hey, Ben and Micah. The mayor says the signing of this executive order is simply a further safeguard for those medical professionals providing reproductive health care and those seeking such services in Illinois. This, as other states, are looking at laws to make it illegal to cross state lines for abortions. And we believe um, uh, abortion is fundamental health care. That's why Mayor Lightfoot signed an executive order that prohibits city employees and police from cooperating with investigations or participating in lawsuits from other states against a person seeking an abortion. I was sent yesterday photos of an anti-abortion anti protester taking pictures of every license plate in a parking lot with presumably the next goal being searching who those cars are and turning them in in their states. So this is what we're up against and this is what we have to anticipate for. The mayor says this will provide people with the ability to make a decision without the fear of retaliation or prosecution. To make good on that commitment, we've already made a $500,000 investment to expand access to reproductive care here in Chicago. Organizations like Pro-Life Action League are critical of this executive order and believe that money should be going elsewhere. Mayor Lightfoot's executive order is really just virtue signaling. She's trying to advance the idea that pro-lifers are seeking to you know, stop people from crossing state lines and freely traveling throughout the country. And that's simply not true. It's really just more propaganda. But what really troubles me is is the million dollars that she's putting into this abortion fund and the way that that signals to the women of Chicago that they should be getting abortions. And we need families for Chicago. This comes at a time when states like neighboring Indiana are in the midst of outlining an abortion ban. Locally, organizations against this order say their work is just beginning. We're going to fight long term to restore legal protection to unborn children in our state to some degree. We want to at least uh, to restore our Parental Notice of Abortion Act and to stop taxpayers for paying for abortions. Chicago taxpayers are now paying for abortions both through the city of Chicago and through the state. It is estimated that the state and the city could see more than 20,000 patients from other states over the next fiscal year. And when it comes to court orders from other states... We have to take a long, hard look at the facts and circumstances of any such order or inquiry that comes. But we want to make sure that we set the lines um, in an unambiguous way. Chicago isn't the only city making this kind of an announcement. Seattle also announced this week they would not make any arrests on abortion-related charges. Mayor Lightfoot says she expects city council to codify this order when they meet again in September. Ben and Micah. Thanks, Christine.